Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today I'm gonna walk you through how to engrave your pencils with your Glowforge Aura. So, the first thing is, um, look how cute this is. This is my pencil holder, which is another YouTube tutorial, but the pencil jig is a file from the Salty Yankees. So I'm gonna show you, it's 11 inches, and um, basically it's made to engrave multiple size pencils. Um, or anything else that you would need this jig for. So for my number two pencils that my daughter is gonna be taking to school, these will fall kind of through. It will hold it in place obviously so you can engrave it, but it doesn't carry, it's not a tray to carry these pencils. So what you wanna do is you wanna lift up the lid to the Glowforge Aura, put it down. When you put it down, I would line this up with your breadcrumb tray so that your pencils are, you know, so when we go to do the text, the font, um, that it's easy to line up. It's already parallel. So you just want to make sure it's straight when you put it in. Then you're going to put your pencils in and with the pencils, I mean, these are already engraved. You can kind of see it there, but you wanna find an empty space if you wanna do the whole thing. If you really wanted to be, you know, be extra and try to engrave in between, you can do that as well. But obviously on all these that I did, I went for the big open space. So you wanna line them all up and I would line up, I just push everything to one side so that all the erasers are that way. So when we go to do the text, it's gonna be a lot easier. All right, so that's one tip right there. The next one is, before I switch the camera over, let me see if I have one that I haven't cleaned. So when you, oh, this is a good one. So it says loose, your pouch is loose and it makes you lose your pencils. It drives me insane when people use loose when they should use lose or vice versa. So anyway, I thought it would be funny to have these like, um, grammar tips on these pencils. All right, so if you can look, you can see that there's, a, I, I know it's a little bit difficult to, to focus on it, but there are sort of like scorch marks. So my tip for you is, and I have an old napkin. These are just from cleaning the pencils. So I'm gonna do a clean area just so that you can see what it looks like. All right, let me fold this so that we get to a clean, a nice clean white space. All right, right there. You're gonna spray awesome spray from the Dollar Tree and it is so easy to clean, I couldn't believe it. So you're gonna wipe it and oh my gosh, look, it's all on here and now my pencil is totally clean. So I, if you get nothing else from this tutorial, this is a game changer. <laughs> all right, I'm actually gonna, okay, so I, um, first I'm gonna show you my screen. So let me flip this over so that you can see couple things. All right. There I am. I'm gonna make myself smaller. All right. First things first. This is the Salty Yankees web page. And on here, when you're on your home, on her home page, you can scroll down um, or you could just search for Glowforge. And these are all the Glowforge projects. So on here is the pencil jig um, as well as the pencil holder and some really cool tools that I'm going to show you in another tutorial. But this is here. Now let's go to Glowforge. Now this is the app and I'm going to show you what it looks like when you first come in. So this is what it looks like when you first come in. We're going to go to um, create a new design and upload a file. So we're going to upload the pencil jig. So go and download that file from her website, purchase it, download it, and then you can go in and where is my pencil jig? There it is. And then just double click on it. It will then bring up your, um, the actual, like what your Glowforge bed looks like. And so that's gonna come up in a second. And I have proof grade, a proof grade material in there right now, just so that you can see what it looks like. I'm gonna move this over for a second. So there's a couple different things that you can do. So first of all, I have proof grade material in here. It, what's lovely about having proof grade materials is that there's a barcode. As soon as you close your lid, the camera will read what you have in here. So if it can read this barcode, it will change the settings up here. So it's ready for you to cut, engrave, or score perfectly. All right. So you can see what this looks like. And so what I was telling you earlier, when you put your jig in, you kind of want to line it up because you want your font or your text to go straight across and you don't have to 
um, do any alignment um, fixing. So, all right. So first of all, this material is smaller than my jig. I'm just gonna bring my jig over so that I can show you what, what you can do with this. All right, first thing is from Kayla, size this jig at 11 inches tall. So we're good with that. We can delete that now that we know that clue. So I'm gonna move that out of the way. And then how to size it is you click on it so it's highlighted. And then you're gonna to go to the bottom left and go to your ruler. And it will say it's nine inches wide and 11 inches um, in height. So it's already ready to go. Now, then what you wanna do is everything that you see on here, you wanna select what you wanna do with it. So for instance, this is the big round rectangle, right? So it's the, the outside. So currently right now, it says it's gonna engrave. So just to point out, because I've made this mistake before where I forgot, like I just come in, I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna cut and I don't think about the different settings and then I just hit go. Um, the way this would engrave is that whole surface area would engrave. So we wanna be careful. You wanna click on it and then it gives you the option to engrave, cut, score, or ignore, ignore it on here. So I'm going to change it to cut. Then the next thing is the little circle on top, which is the little thing that you can, you know, then hang it, hang it on something. Um, and then also all your pencil lines. So I'm gonna click on this and also change that to cut. So then this is what you would wanna do. That's it. There's some open space, right? So we could add some text. So I'm gonna move this over so that I can bring my keyboard down and there is open area so i'm going to click on tax and i'm going to change this to the or add the useless crafter you can change the fonts you can change um you know how the thickness of the engraving um the font size you could do a lot of things here but for now let's just do this and i'm going to change this to eight Okay, and I'm gonna move this over. And in a second, it will make sense because I'm gonna go put my jig actually in the Glowforge Aura so we can see it. So this is to just cut the jig. If it's just to cut the jig, hold on. What you wanna do is you wanna click print and then it will give you an estimate of how long it will take. If you're okay with it, you're gonna go, your, the button on your Glowforge Aura and on your filter will be blinking that means it's ready to go and then you can hit the button and it will start to cut for you now um some things that i want to go over um earlier we chose um cut engrave score or ignore right so if you don't want something to cut you can either set if it was all grouped together and you wanted to say you only wanted to cut the outside you can and not do the pencil or the circle then you can click on this and click ignore and it will still stay on in the cut area but it's only going to cut what you tell it to cut right so this is going to take you an hour now the other thing is if you didn't want to select ignore um this is grouped together right now what you can do is right click on it ungroup and so either i can move each one of these things out if it's out of my cut area, it is also the same thing as setting it to be ignored, okay? So I just wanna point that out. All right, so I'm gonna cancel this. I'm gonna go, I'll be right back. I'm gonna put my jig in, I'm gonna put a few pencils in so that we can go over how to engrave the pencil. Okay, I am back. So I'm gonna move all of this out of the way. So now what you can see, I'm gonna change out my screen in a second though, but you can see my jig is in, 
my pencils are in so the camera is awesome right and then what you let me hide that okay so let's go to text and i'm just going to show you i'm going to type out charlotte and like i mentioned earlier the ones that i did i did it at eight so there is charlotte and i'm going to move it right here and then i'm going to change charlotte to um to engrave right so i'm going to click on this and click engrave and then that would be ready to go but i'm going to clean this up let's go to a new um let's go into an old design because once you do this the first time um you can save it so here i i've got all of my it's all lined up for all my pencils so you can see to go to your seat um let me see if I can make this bigger so that we can see it better. Oh, I can't move this over. There's got to be a way. Okay, then. sort of. Oh, can I move it over a little bit more? doesn't look like I can. All right. So at a hundred percent, this is what we're going to see. All right. Um, you just basically type in your, um, what you want. Like I said, eight was great for me. And then my material, I ended up changing to this medium basswood hardwood. It's a proof grade material. My pencils are not proof grade materials, but it engraved on this, um, at this setting. Okay. And then you can see I've got it all lined up and you can just save it that way. Next time you can go in here and you can, it's already lined up for you and you, you would only have to do it once. So let me move all of this so that I can show you what that looks like. Um, I'm going to, let's go to a new one. So I'll go back to dashboard. We're going to do a new design. Okay, so here are our pencils. We're gonna go and click on text. And let's just say we're just doing names right now. And you know, I saw, I was looking for inspiration and when I saw the pencils, um, everyone seems to engrave in capital letters. So I, yesterday I went with capital letters. I didn't change it. But I will be changing different things. I'm going to try out different fonts just to see what it looks like. But I did just, you know, this regular font at eight um, and in all caps. So what you want to do is you want to move it over. And you can see it's very easy to see and line up, right? And then you can see this one. I've already engraved this one. I was just putting it in there so that we had a visual. But you can click on this, right click, um, copy paste and you know the nice thing is it kind of it locks for you um a little bit and so it helps you adjust but you know um you can put it here and you can change it to um i don't know you're awesome <laughs> and you can see that's you know and then um copy paste and you can go in there. Now, I've got these three that I wanna engrave, right? Then what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that it's on engrave and then go to click on print. So whenever you print, that gives you that estimate. It doesn't turn on your, you know, it doesn't set your um, your machine to, to start. So I can't click print from here. After, after it gives me an estimate, if I click on print, it will not start. I actually have to go to the machine and click on the button. Now. Once this gives me an estimate on my Glowforge Aura, the little um, it, the little button to hit go is blinking, and so is my filter. Both has to be blinking, and they they blink simultaneously. Uh, they're in sync, so you want to make sure because if one is blinking and the other one isn't, your what what you should do is um, unplug your filter, for example and then plug it back in, it will sync. And like I said, they both should be blinking so that the filter is working with your machine. Okay, so it's gonna take almost three minutes. Um, so 
I'll click print. Nothing happens when I click print here. I have to walk over and click print and it will start to engrave. It's going to engrave Charlotte. You're awesome. You're awesome. Okay. <laughs> and that's all there is. It's so fun, right? Um, I absolutely loved it. The pencils came out great. Everyone who's seen the pictures love, loves it. Um, and I had a friend come over today and she actually saw it. She's like, oh my gosh, these are so cute. So anyway, if you have any uh, comments or questions, or if you want to see a project done, please um, put the comments below and I will get back to you. All right. Happy crafting.